I want to talk to y'all today about something. All right. Self doubt. Self doubt can literally be the one thing that chokes the life out of your dreams, out of your goals, out of everything you try to do. And I'm here to tell you because we all have a little voice in our, inside our head. That little voice comes from what's called our comfort zone. That little voice is the one that says, no, you shouldn't try to raid with some of the top people in Destiny 2. You should, you know, go into Trials of Osiris. You know, you shouldn't, you know, do this. You shouldn't try to get a German Shepherd. You know, do this, do that. I'm here to tell you, you have an option with that little bastard. All right, I'm going to tell you all right now. I'm going to get a little hot in this episode because, oh, boy, this is, a t this is a one from me. Oh, 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 man. You have two options with that little voice. Either you cave in and be like, eh, fuck it. Or you grab him by the throat and you look him dead in the eye and you tell that little bastard, not today. You are not taking control of my life today not happening alright when I started this channel I was so doubtful that anything would happen with it and now look every day I still get that little voice says oh you shouldn't upload today no one's going to watch your content here I am you think I'm going to let that little voice stop me no nothing he talks and I was like, nah, not today, dude. Not today, homie. You ain't doing that to me. All right. I, I'm going to tell you all a story. As some of you all know, I play Destiny 2. I do a lot of Destiny 2 content. All right. Now, I had an opportunity to run Garden of Salvation, one of my favorite raids ever, with the guy who held the number one spot for the longest time. I looked on the raid report, saw his name, and I messaged him. And I asked him, hey, I heard that you know, you're number one in the world for this, and I'd like to learn from the best. Is there any way I can get in on a, on a run or two with you? I sent that message, and you know what happened? The little voice is like, no, he's just going to say no. Why'd you even send that? You're stupid for doing that. That little voice was also there when I was typing the message. To this day, I look back at that message and I realize I overcame one hellacious obstacle because that opened up an opportunity for me to learn from somebody who is one in the top 20 in the world for rating. All right. Now, self, now, doubt and self-doubt, it stems a lot from, you know, failed attempts at something, you know, being, you know, fearful of trying new things. It stems from quite a few circumstances, but I'm just here to say this. When you conquer that little voice in your head that says, oh, you know, I shouldn't go out and pursue my dreams. You know, I shouldn't go out and do this or do that. Nothing is going to stand in your way. All right. And I mean that. That's like this engine you see right here. That's like adding a supercharger to your drive. Because when you conquer that voice and you tell him to shut the fuck up, you're basically adding a supercharger to your drive, to your willpower, and you are going to go run through walls. All right. Because I tell you what, when you have your, when you find your why, what I mean by why is why the fuck you're doing whatever you're doing. When you find your why, even when that little voice still talks, and you conquer that little voice. As Billy Osbrook says, you'll be able to run through walls with it. All right. Now. <laughs> Self-doubt can also stem from, you know, trying to get in a relationship with someone that you really like. That little voice can come back, you know, you meet the girl or guy of your dreams or whatever. I'm not judging. Whatever. Whatever your preference is, you know, you do you. 
I'm just giving examples here for you. But you meet that person of your dreams. And you know you want to get in a relationship with them. And you go to ask them. That little boy's going to come back. You really have to mentally check yourself and be like, nah, you ain't doing this to me today. You're going to quit it. Because once you're able, like I said, once you're able to conquer that little voice in your head, inside your skull, inside your brain, opportunities are going to open. Doors are going to open for you. Things are going to open for you that have never opened before because you kept holding yourself back. All right. It's like self-doubt and that little voice is like, as some of you guys know, I have a German Shepherd. That's my buddy, my partner, my best friend in the entire world. I had to have him on a harness because one, he's a freaking ox. But that leash, that leash is more symbolic of self-doubt, of that little voice in your head that tells you, don't do it. That tells you, you'll never be good enough. None of this crap. Once you take that leash off of you, nothing's going to stop you. And I mean that wholeheartedly. All right. I cannot tell you the number of people that I have played Destiny 2 as I've taken into raids that they've doubted themselves so much. And then we got to the end. I looked down and was like, now, do you still doubt yourself on it? Because you know why they were doubting themselves? They listened to that little voice that says, oh, you'll never do this. You'll never be good enough. Those four words are the most dangerous things in your vocabulary. I'm not good enough. And I got two for you. Bullshit. Whatever it is you're trying to do, if you want to be one of the top raiders in the world for Destiny 2, fucking do it. Alright. And I mean that. Fucking do it. If you want to be, you know, the best basketball player you can, and people, you know, that little voice saying, no, you just, you're going to suck, you're going to miss your shots every time, fucking ignore that little bastard. Get out there and practice every day. You know, you want to be the best football player, best whatever. And that little voice pops up. Mentally chokehold that little that little bastard. And ignore him. But push him to the side. Hold him there. And be like, no. You're going to shut up right now. Because I'm stronger than you. And you are not going to win this fight. Because I can't stress this enough. That little voice. I like to call the dream breaker. The goal killer. I will oftentimes have conversations with myself when that little voice comes in every time I'm making a video. And I tell them, no. Every video I make, every video I do, every one of these I do, I get better. 1% better every time. Even when I only get maybe one or two views. That shows me where I need to improve. Where I need to go back. Fix a few things. Tweak some things. Alright. None of this YouTube stuff I'm doing. I'll learn from very many people. All self-taught. I just took notes from a channel that kind of guided me. But everything I'm doing here is self-taught. Like speaking to you guys like this, self-taught. Now, my personal fight with that little voice, I've listened to that little voice for the oh, whole number of years. Then I finally realized what made me realize that, you know, I shouldn't be listening to him is when I started doing YouTube. People, that little voice told me, oh no, you'll never be a successful YouTuber. People have told me, oh, you'll never be successful. You'll never get anywhere. Here I am at 71 subs. When people project their insecurities on you, that forms that little voice. 
And like I said, he is the worst thing that could ever happen to you. All right. Because like you saw that engine being built in the background. You stop listening to that little voice. Beautiful things can be built. All right. Beautiful things can be built. Beautiful things can be made. Your life can become amazing. All right. Now, I want y'all to know something. I still struggle with this. I still fight this on a daily basis. But you know what? I'm getting stronger every time. Eventually, those butterfly flaps are going to open. That supercharge is going to kick in. And that little voice in mirror, we're going to go around. But you know what? He ain't winning. I'm overcoming him. That little demon is getting slain. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I really hope this helped you guys. I really hope this kills your self-doubt. I really hope this helps you guys. As always, y'all take care. Stay safe out there. God bless you guys. And y'all have a wonderful day. If you guys want to more of this turn that bell notification so you get notified when i upload i'm gonna try to do this every monday y'all have a good day